M1 Global presents. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств, представляем вашу вниманию трехраундовый супербой в легчайшем весе в синем гурейче, спортсмен из Бразилии. Приветствуйте, Луан Фернандо! for Luan Fernandez outside of his native Brazil. His pro MMA record stands at eight wins, two losses. Fernandez started his professional MMA career with just one win in his first three fights since then. Undefeated in seven with six finishes. Three of those finishes coming in the first round. Fernandez holds the rank of blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but he made it clear to me in our fighter interview yesterday that he is a pure striker. He said, I combine boxing and Muay Thai for my MMA striking style. Fernandez also said, I want to work off of my jab, stay on the outside, avoid the clinch, showcase my hand speed, my foot speed. Ultimately, Fernandez said, movement in the stand-up is my key to victory. No matter who you are, no matter what type of career you have when you're a pro MMA fighter, your first bout outside of your native country is significant. Oftentimes, this first fight outside of your native country sets the tempo for the remainder of your pro career. Sportsman in the red corner represents the Republic of Kazakhstan. Встречайте, Сергей Морозов! Я с Казахстана, я с Казахстана, я с Казахстана, я с Казахстана, нас по кухне, нас по кухне, нас по кухне, нас по кухне, я с Казахстана, я с Казахстана, я с Казахстана, я с Казахстана. Sergey Morozov of Kazakhstan. Through the opening dozen fights of his pro MMA career, Morozov has won nine. Victorious in the enters tonight. Three of his last four bouts, all three of those wins by way of three round 15 minute decision. Morozov told me that he really takes pride in being a very patient, tactical, and technical fighter. Morozov also said that he has huge belief in his cardio, his condition his physical strength. He feels that he has the ability to wear down Luan Fernandez, and he is in absolutely no hurry to do so. Morozov also talked to me about wanting to set a very high pace. He said constantly attacking with strikes while remaining very smart and very tactical.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the bantamweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 21 years old. He weighed in at 60.5 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters tall and has a professional record of eight wins and two losses. He is national Mao Thai champion and big way fight champion from Brazil, Luan Fernandes. And now welcome his opponents in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 61. Three kilograms. He stands 168 centimeters tall and has a professional record of eight wins and three losses. He is silver medalist of the Asian MMA Championship, silver medalist of the World MMA Championship, and master of sport in MMA. From Kazakhstan, please welcome Sergei Morozov. And the referee for this bout, Ukas Pusatsky. Okay, fighters, no drills. Listen to my commands all the time. When I say stop, we stop. Tashglos, go back to your corners. In the bantamweight division, Luan Fernandez of Brazil versus Sergei Morozov of Kazakhstan. Ready, ready, fight. Round number one. Our opening bout of our five-fight main card, M1 Challenge 83 from Basket Hall in Kazan, Russia. Again, really pleased that you're with us watching on television online around the world. With the Grady and the Machine Freeman, I'm Sean Wheelock. Camouflage trunks for Fernandez, yellow and black trunks for Morozov. Fernandez threw a big loop with overhand right as they started the fight there, coming out in a southpaw stance. Just heard me talk about the patience of Morozov. We're seeing it here. Yeah, I've, I've, we've had the pleasure of commentating on Morozov a few times. He's very cool, calm, collected, but when it's time to fire, he fires. This is actually a big fight for Fernandez. Kick landed on the chest, circling out Sergei Morozov. Very unflustered. See a lot of fainting from the southpaw stands from Fernandez. Big swing with the left hand and a miss. Nothing on that teep. High tight striking guard for Sergei Morozov circling out. Well, he's looking for the knockout as Fernandez. There's no denying that. Morozov goes to the takedown. Nice sequence. Wide right oh, hand. Oh, beautiful. To the body lock and hits the takedown. Fernandez right back to his feet, did well. Did really well to get back to his feet. He's got an overhook. He should try and swim inside, try and get the underhook. There we go, he gets it. But too late, is it? No, it's not. He got his balance. Still with the body lock. Oh, nice. Second takedown of the fight. Morozov showing a lot of power and technical ability. Morozov, like you see, he takes his time. He doesn't rush anything. If he doesn't succeed the first time, he'll slowly, methodically just try it again. Fernandez trying to walk off of the fencing that makes this M1 ring. It's often referred to as a rage, part ring, part cage, so unique. The fencing extending down from the bottom rope to the canvas. Morozov in half guard. Lukasz Posatsky, our outstanding Polish referee, clearing the toes of Fernandez out of that fencing. Well, he's trying to get mount, but Fernandez manages to sweep him at the last minute. Good work by Fernandez. Fernandez Back to his feet. Doing very well, pushing off of the ring ropes and the turnbuckle. Well, Fernandez is here to fight. He's not come here to give in so easy. That was great work. To 20 remaining round number one of this bantamweight fight. Head kick misses. Well, what I've noticed about Fernandez, just before he's about to throw a big shot, he kind of dips his body as if to put, you know, like to set it up for the power. And I think Morozov can say that, so he knows when the power shot's coming. A little bit of a saving grace by popping the elbow on top of the rope there. Fernandez warned for that by Bosatsky. Can't defend that takedown. So tight on the body lock from Sergey Morozov. Unbelievably tight. Now he's on mount position. Let's see if Fernandez can escape the mount. Gets back to his feet again. Beautiful work. That Albeit was, he's still in a body lock. That was slick though by Fernandez. Really good. 
Like I say, you can you can normally tell when hey, fighters come over hey, from a different country, from Brazil, into someone else's hometown, and you know, are they just here for a payday or are they here to fight? Well, Fernandez is here to fight. He has not given up one little bit. He's getting back to his feet three times already. With no hyperbole, that was one of the best full mount escapes I've seen this year. Can you see the power? Don't grab, Lua. Don't do that. Don't grab. Hey. Referee Lucas Pisatsky telling Fernandez, do not grab the cage. That was a hard warning by Wosowski to Fernandez. Fernandez playing a lot of defense here in round number one. 60 seconds remaining in this opening round. Foot stomping again from Sergei Morozov. Oh, nice back trip. All coming from that tight body lock. And to the half guard, Fernandez very active on the ground. Fernandez looking over to his corner. Yeah, I'd like to see Morozov throw some shots to the head to soften him up while he's on the ground. Because Fernandez has been good enough to get back to his feet without being hit. Punch to the thigh by Morozov. That is definitely a strike of attrition. Two to the rib cage. 20 seconds remaining round number one. We can hear those shots thudding, Machine. You are thudding, but the, I, I'm disappointed in Fernandez now just hanging on. We may know there's only 20 seconds, seconds left, but hanging on for 20 seconds when he's already been took down three times, he's definitely losing this round. Luan Fernandez holding tight half guard. There's the gong, the end of round number one. Yeah, clear win for Sergei Morozov. Morozov just clinically took his time, executed those takedowns with precision. Albeit Fernandez got back to his feet, but it wasn't for long. Definitely clear around for Sergei Morozov. In the corner of Luan Fernandez, the Davela brothers. With the ball cap and one bantamweight Ellie Tone, you also saw Diego earlier tonight. Fought a technical decision split draw versus Bursa Mongol Abibai Ulu. From round number one, wide right hand. Morozov using that right hand, the close distance, hitting those body lock takedowns and trips from the body lock. We're online, m1global.tv, our 2017 schedule, news, fighter profiles, videos, and much more. m1global.tv. Big exhale from the Brazilian Luan Ready. Fernandez. Ready. Fine. Versus Sergei Morozov of Kazakhstan, round number two. <laughs> Sidekick. <laughs> Kick to the body, nothing there. Oh. Fernandez jumping into that right hand on the knee. Fernandez needs to be careful running forward like that. Bolo punch with the left hand from Fernandez. Half uppercut, half hook. Big overhand right from Morozov. Time called by Bosaski. Trouble with the glove for Fernandez. Time right back in. I believe his finger slipped out of the glove. Yeah, I think it happened right at the beginning of the round. He needs to be careful jumping in like that, Fernandez. Jump he switch on, knees. He walks onto a punch. Morozov working off the jab. Right hand, back to the body lock. Fernandez was trying to reach through for the single leg. I think Fernandez getting a little bit frustrated. Oh! Nicely done oh. on the arm right now, taking the back! What? He actually missed, he missed the throw, but realized he missed it, then took the back quickly. Oh, whoa, whoa! Standing, Standing rear, rear naked, naked choke. choke! Oh, my word! This would be a shock if he gets that this! That is tight! Bosatsky oh, clearing the off. off. Out of the he's, ropes. He's squeezing as tight as he can. How what how is he not tapping to this? Oh my word, that's better. That's under the chin now. Under the chin indeed for Luan Fernandez looking for the finish line. He's still to reach it. He's got he's defending it. He needs to switch palm to palm. He's got the chin back in there. He's got the chin in now. He's safe. Morozov carrying the full wow. weight of Fernandez while hand fighting. So a lot of time remaining around number two, 310 remaining. Fernandez now losing his grip, trying to re-grip, still wow. holding on the back. Morozov, he needs a standing ovation for that, not just a round of applause. 
great work because that was right underneath the chin he didn't panic he attacked the arm and he, he he's still got right. all of that arm he knows he knows if he's got a hold of that he's safe that's better turn the arm to the opposite side clearing the arm in the takedown easy fernandez was actually sitting on the rope that has got to be mentally frustrating there for fernandez Fernandez made that takedown so easy, clearing the arm and then just pulling Fernandez off of that third rope. Huge moment of danger, though, averted for Sergey Morozov. Machine, that looked to be under the chin. <laughs> it was under the chin and it was nearly lights out, I think. Just that split second, he managed to grab the arm, which obviously took the pressure off the rear naked choke. And he survived. Nice hammer fist. Well, Fernandez must be thinking, I've tried everything now. What the hell do I have to do to beat this guy? Morozov just warned by Wukash Bosowski for elbow strikes. No elbows to the head under the M1 rule set. The form also is constituted with the elbow. The hammer fist clean and legal. Nice inside position oh, with the head that's by a big shot. He covers up, he didn't like that. Nine se 90 seconds remaining around number two. Luta, luta, fight, fight, being yelled in Portuguese by the corner of Fernandez by the Davela brothers. Well, there's no denying that Fernandez has come here to fight, but I think he's a little bit disheartened now. He's tried everything. Oh, that was a simple little takedown. Maybe the, the wind has come out of his sails, the gas has come out of the tank. And the, heart, guard. the heart has come out of his body because he is not the same fighter as he was earlier before that rear naked choke. Morozov clearing the legs, facing on his knee, big hammer Morozov fist in the going to step in. Lukas Pusatsky has seen enough, I think. Diving oh. in with the right hand goes Morozov. Mounted now, this could be game over. Sitting up, posturing on both knees from full mount. Shoving down the head, letting go with the left hand. Wosowski taking a really close look. Well, it's his turn to get the rear naked choke now. He manages to turn. Lost it back to the left hand. Wrist control. 20 seconds remaining round number two. Full base, full mount for Sergei Morozov. Oh, that's enough. That is that it. That is enough. TKO win round number two and a very solid performance. Wow. Perfection there, Sean. Absolute perfection. In the machine, Freeman absolutely nailed it during our in-fight commentary. Once Fernandez lost the rear naked choke standing, the tide shifted dramatically back in favor of Sergei Morozov. Truly really the only real offensive sequence in that fight for Fernandez was on that rear naked choke. It was deep, it was tight. The standing rear naked and choke, rear naked choke attempt in which Morozov bearing the full weight on his back of Luan Fernandez while trying to hand fight. Once Morozov defended that choke, hit the takedown, pulling Fernandez off of the third rope on which he was sitting, going to work, and then finishing with the ground and pound to the TKO. Let's go to the machine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes, 48 seconds of round two, we have a winner. Due to referee stoppage to ground and pound, Sergei Morozov! <laughs> Sergei, I'm here with your winner, Sergei Morozov. What a dominant performance. I have the pleasure of commentating, you're always dominant, but in that second round, he had you in a rear naked choke standing. How close were you to tapping to that? Сергей, я каждый раз рад комментировать твои бои, это всегда зрелищные поединки. И в этот раз, во втором раунде, мы видели, что, возможно, у тебя были серьезные проблемы, соперник забрал спину. Мы хотели бы знать, насколько ты был близок к тому, чтобы сдаться. Татарстан, всем привет, приветствую вас. Очень горячий народ. Умеет болеть.
Спасибо за поддержку. Когда у меня душил, вот отвечаю сразу на этот вопрос. Честно говоря, чуть не уснул. Только, наверное, благодаря вам, секундантам, и в Бога верил, что не знать сдаваться, и вылез. Слава Богу, победил. Вот так. I'd like to say thank you to Tatarstan, to local fans, and I want to be honest, I almost fell asleep. But with your help, with God's help, I, I, I came through it. Thank you. That is what makes a true warrior. You were so close to going to sleep, but you didn't. You came back and won the fight. What is next for Sergey? Ты настоящий воин, ты был близок к тому, чтобы заснуть, но ты продолжил бой. И какие у тебя планы дальше после этого боя? На все воле Божие, как мне, организаторы дадут шанс подраться за пояс. Я с удовольствием использую этот шанс. А так хочу поблагодарить всех за эту победу. Казахстан Алга! I will use any opportunity organizers and the God will give me. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Sergei Morozov! First fight outside of his native Brazil for Luan Fernandez. And entering an outstanding form, unbeaten in his last seven pro MMA fights with six finishes. Sergei Morozov, victorious in three of his last four. Aggressive start early from Fernandez. Morozov starting to take control. That was nicely done on the switch. Looking for the arm drag takedown, leading to the standing rear naked choke attempt. Defended by Sergei Morozov. And then the fight fully turning back in his favor. Full on ground and pound. And Lukash Bosanski sees enough. Morozov relentless with those left hands to the finish. The winner by way of second round TKO, Sergei Morozov defeats Luan Fernandez.